Uh, hi, Jamina san, konnichiwa. Today we're going to talk about one last set of kanji from this chapter. So let's take a look at our first kanji. Um, this first kanji is K. This is the K in toke, the K in keikaku. And as you can see, it's made up of the radical for words、um, on the left and the number kanji. Ju on the right.、Um, so when we are like counting words, we're like saying words or,、um, that we use for counting, then we're using them to measure. So this is the K of toke, the K of K kaku. So let's write together. Mazu ichi, ni, san, yong, go, do, Ku, nana, and then ichi, ni. Mo ichi do ichi, ni, san, yong, go, doku, nana. Hach, q. One more time. Ichi. Ni, san, yong, go, doku, nana. Hach, q. So this is the toke no k, k kaku no k. Our next kanji is the kyo in Tokyo. It's also the kyo in words like kyoto or in names like kyoko. So this kyo, we start at the top with this like lid type radical.、Um, and then we have the part underneath it. We have kuchi and chisai. So let's write together. This is the kyo from Tokyo. It's also the kyo in kyoto. So we start with ichi, ni, san, yong, go, doku, hook, nana, hachi. Ichi, ni, san, yong, go, doku, hook, Nana, hachi. Ichi, ni, san, yong, go, doku, hook, nana, hachi. So this is the kyo in Tokyo, the kyo in Kyoto. Our next kanji is the atsu of the word atsumeru. I don't think we've had this one yet as a new word.、Um, we'll have it, I think, in the next chapter. So, atsumeru is to collect.、Um, it also can,、uh, this kanji also can be used in the word atsumaru, which is like a group of people gather. So, the difference is a transitive intransitive difference. So, like, sensei collects the homework, atsumeru. Um, and the students gather in the classroom. Gakse ga atsumaru no chigai desu ne. So on the top we have that part from、uh, getsu yobi no yo, and then we have moku yobi no moku at the bottom. So let's take a look together at the stroke order. Atsumeru and atsumaru. Ichi, ni, san, yong. Go, doku, nana, hach, kyu, ju, ju, ichi, ju, ni. One more time. Ich, ni, san, yong, go, dok, nana, hach, kyu, ju, ju, ichi, ju, ni. And once again. Ichi, ni, san, yong, go, dok, nana, Hach, kyu, ju, 
The atsu in atsumeru and atsumaru. The next kanji is also a part of a word that is going to be new to us. Um, so the idea of this is that we use it as a prefix that sort of means like non something. So the word that we are going to talk about that has this prefix is huben, which means like not bendy. Huben. So this is the hu in huben. We'll start with ichi ni sang yong. Ichi ni sang yong. One last time. Ichi ni sang yong. The hu of huben. Our next kanji is the ben of huben. This is also the ben in benli. For whatever reason, kanji look and learn doesn't have the d in benli. But this is the um, ben from benli and from fuben. Um, so it looks a little bit like tsukau. Um, be careful, there's um, one more extra stroke that is not in tsukau. Um, so we are going to start with the hito radical on the left. And then we have ichi, nichi, obi no nichi, and then we'll cross through it. Ich, ni, sang, yong, go, rok, nana, hach, q. Ich, ni, sang, yong, go, rok, nana, hach, q. Last one. Ich, ni, sang, yong, go, Look, nana, hach, q. Huben no ben. Our last kanji is one that's going to be very helpful with some words that we will use a lot when we start getting into more advanced levels. This is the e, and it means like a starting point. So when we have e, it's like something or um, whatever the next kanji is will tell us. Something or more. This much or less. Things other than this. Things like within this group. Things at this point in time and before. Things at this point of time and after is the idea. So we start over here with ichi ni and then ichi and then ni sang. Ich ni sang yong go. Ich ni sang yong go. Okay, so that will finish us up for our new kanji for this chapter. Make sure to practice both reading and writing the kanji so that you'll be able to retain them for the long term.